Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ACD inside a uh, bigger triangle uh, ACB, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, AD is uh, two times Y, whereas uh, this segment uh, BC is uh, Y. And moreover, this angle uh, A is uh, 25 degrees whereas this angle uh, B is represented by X. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this angle uh, X. And we are not supposed to be using a calculators at all. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, review. Let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interiors, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here we can see this is our exterior angle, and that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite interior angles A and B, such that this angle C equal to A plus B. And now let me give you an example. This uh, angle is going to be our uh, exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite uh, interior angles. So this exterior angle is going to be 50 plus 60 is going to give us uh, 110 degrees. And here's our next uh, concept. Let's uh, consider this triangle uh, ABC whose uh, vertices are A, B and uh, C. And this uh, vertex A has angle uh, alpha, B has angle beta and C has angle uh, gamma. And the side opposite to this uh, vertex uh, A is uh, lowercase a. Opposite to this uh, vertex B is uh, this side uh, lowercase b. And finally, opposite to this uh, vertex C, our side is uh, lowercase c. And now let's recall the law of uh, sines. This side uh, A divided by sine of uh, angle alpha is going to be equal to side B divided by sine of beta. And likewise, uh, a divided by sine of alpha equal to C over sine of gamma. And finally, B over sine beta equal to C over sine of gamma as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ACD. And now let's recall the exterior angle theorem once again. According to this theorem, exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this uh, given diagram. And here in our case, we can see that this uh, angle uh, BDC is our uh, exterior angle, and that is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite uh, interior angles. This angle is 25 degrees, and this angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this exterior angle is going to be 90 plus uh, 25 is going to give us uh, 115 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's uh, assume that this uh, side length uh, CD is uh, lowercase uh, m. And now let's recall the law of sines uh, once again. We are going to apply it uh, on this uh, triangle uh, ACD. Therefore, we can write uh, this side length uh, 2y divided by sine of this angle uh, 90 degrees is going to be equal to this side uh, m divided by this uh, sine of uh, 25 degrees. So therefore, let me go ahead and write down uh, 2y divided by sine of uh, 90 degrees is equal to m divided by sine of uh, 25 degrees. And now we know that sine of 90 degrees is uh, 1. So therefore, in the denominator, sine of 90 degrees, I'm going to substitute this one by 1. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this sine of 90 degrees by 1 at the denominator. And now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So therefore, we can write uh, m equals to 2y times uh, sine of uh, 25 degrees. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by y. This y and y is uh, gone. So therefore, we are ended up with uh, m divided by y turns out to be 2 times uh, sine of uh, 25 degrees. Let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number 1. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, another triangle uh, BCD. 
and we are going to apply the law of sines uh, on this triangle uh, as well so therefore we can write uh, m divided by sine of x equals to y divided by sine of 115 degrees so therefore i can write uh, m divided by sine of uh, x equals to y divided by sine of 115 degrees and now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply so therefore i can write uh, m times uh, sine of uh, 115 degrees equal to y times uh, sine of uh, x and now let's go ahead and divide both sides by y times uh, sine of 115 degrees and we can see on the left hand side uh, these are gone and the right hand side uh, y cancel each other out so therefore we are ended up with the uh, m divided by y equal to sine of uh, x divided by sine of uh, 115 degrees let me call this our equation uh, number two and here we are ended up with these equations of uh, one and two and now let's go ahead and compare these two equations we can see the left hand sides uh, are same they are identical so therefore we can equate uh, the right hand sides as well so therefore i can write uh, sine of x divided by sine of uh, 115 degrees is going to be equal to 2 times uh, sine of uh, 25 degrees and now let me go ahead and multiply both sides by sine of uh, 115 degrees to remove this uh, fraction on the left hand side and here we can see this uh, sine of 115 they cancel each other out so therefore we are ended up with the sine of uh, x equal to 2 times the uh, sine of uh, 25 degrees times the uh, sine of uh, 115 degrees let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number three and now our task is uh, to find the value of sine of 115 uh, degrees and now let's recall the angle uh, sum identity sine of alpha plus beta is equal to sine of alpha times the cosine of beta plus sine of beta times the cosine of alpha and since we are looking for the value of uh, sine of 115 degrees so let me label this uh, alpha as uh, 25 degrees and this beta as uh, 90 degrees if we add them that is going to be equal to 115 degrees indeed then the right hand side could also be written as uh, sine of uh, 25 degrees times cosine of 90 degrees plus uh, sine of uh, 90 degrees uh, times cosine of uh, 25 degrees as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's recall the basic uh, trigonometric ratios we know that uh, sine of 90 degrees is uh, 1 and cosine 90 degrees is uh, 0 so therefore of this uh, cosine of 90 degrees is going to be 0 and this uh, sine of 90 degrees is going to be 1 as you can see in this uh, next step 0 times uh, sine of 25 degrees is going to give us uh, 0 over here and sine of 90 degrees is 1 times uh, cosine of 25 degrees is going to give us uh, cosine of 25 degrees so therefore sine of 115 degrees turns out to be cosine of uh, 25 degrees and now let's focus once again on this uh, equation 3 and here I have copied down this equation 3 and now we know that the sine of 115 degrees is a cosine of 25 degrees so therefore I'm going to replace this one by cosine of 25 degrees so therefore this equation is going to become sine of x equal to 2 sine of 25 degrees times the cosine of 25 degrees and now let's recall our this uh, angle sum identity once again now let's assume that alpha equals to 25 degrees and beta is uh, 25 degrees uh, as well then on the right hand side all these angles are going to be 25 degrees uh, as well as you can see in this uh, next step and now on the right hand side we can see that these uh, two terms are identical so we can combine them and on the left hand side uh, 25 degrees plus 25 degrees is going to give us uh, 50 degrees so therefore we are ended up with uh, sine of 50 degrees equal to 2 times uh, sine of 25 degrees uh, times cosine of 25 degrees as well 
And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and compare uh, these uh, two equations. We can see the right hand sides are uh, identical. So therefore we can equate uh, the left hand sides uh, as well. So therefore I can write uh, sine of x uh, equal to sine of uh, 50 degrees. And now let's recall this uh, crucial factor sine of alpha equal to sine of beta means alpha equals to beta angle. So therefore our angle x is going to be equal to 50 degrees. So I can write angle x turns out to be 50 degrees. So thus our angle x turns out to be 50 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.